Hi, I'm Mary Beth Mills, Development Coordinator for Restoration Housing. In this segment of our Architectural Minute series, we'll look at a century of change in the Belmont neighborhood of Southeast Roanoke, where we've had the privilege to work for the last three years and counting. Belmont was established in 1888 and platted the following year by the Belmont Land Company to house employees of the nearby Norfolk and Western East End shops, where steam locomotives were built and maintained. Most homes were constructed for purchase on a speculative basis by home building associations in the endearing folk Victorian style, featuring machine produced detailing such as turned posts, flats on balusters, and decorative trim work that could be purchased by catalog and applied to simple vernacular house forms. By 1921, Belmont was a thriving working class neighborhood with important physical and social infrastructure. Streets were paved, Firehouse No. 6 served the neighborhood, streetcar lines ran along 3rd Street, Dale Avenue, and 9th Street, children attended either Belmont or Jameson Primary School, worshipers gathered at Belmont Baptist Church and Belmont Methodist Episcopal Church on Sundays, and numerous organizations offered social outlets such as the Machine Works Band. Census records show most residents own their own homes and were employed by the railroad or other industries such as the American Viscose Corporation plant which employed 5,000 people and was the world's largest producer of rayon by the end of the decade. However, the closure of the American Viscose plant in 1958, followed by the conversion of steam to diesel engines by Norfolk and Western Railway, resulted in the loss of thousands of jobs and had a devastating effect on Belmont. This was compounded by the intrusion of modern road systems in the 1960s, including the construction of Interstate 581, and the widening and rerouting of Bullitt and Jameson Avenues that effectively isolated Belmont from downtown and the rest of Southeast. Many families left to find work elsewhere, while those that remained faced the increasing demands and expense of upkeep on an aging housing stock. Meaningful investment was also deterred when the Federal Housing Administration redlined Belmont, identifying it as a, quote, hazardous neighborhood and therefore a poor financial risk for companies offering home loans and insurance. Many properties were divided into multiple units and maintained just enough to be rented legally, often resulting in homes being condemned and ultimately demolished or left vacant and deteriorating. A study completed in 1967 of housing on Taswell Avenue alone showed less than a quarter to be structurally sound. Today, Belmont is experiencing renewed interest. Residents' pride of place is evident in many well-maintained homes and the vitality of neighborhood groups such as the Southeast Action Forum and Belmont Neighborhood Association that spearhead advocacy efforts and community beautification events. However, the vacancy rate in Southeast Roanoke is still at a staggering 17%, with many properties needing more work than most homeowners can achieve alone. Seeing this need, the City of Roanoke recently established two helpful tools for reinvestment. In 2018, the Belmont neighborhood was listed on both the national and state registers of historic places with all contributing structures now eligible for historic tax credits. The City of Roanoke is also focusing on the Belmont Fallon neighborhood for targeted funding through Community Development Block Grants from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, which can be used for activities including housing, economic development, job training, and infrastructure improvements. As a result, there have been a number of successful efforts to build back occupancy in the neighborhood's historic built environment. Nonprofits such as Restoration Housing and REACH are working to restore vacant residential properties with a focus on quality and affordability. We have been excited to concentrate our work in Belmont over the last several years with a recently completed project at 326 Dale Avenue, a project under construction down the street at 820 Dale Avenue, and another in the pipeline at 920 Stewart Avenue. Belmont is such an integral part to the story of Roanoke, and it's exciting to see its preservation prioritized by so many, and the real change these resources and community support will bring. We hope you've enjoyed this Architectural Minute. Thanks for watching, and join us next time when we head to the Gainsborough neighborhood in Northwest Roanoke.